Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Megan and I am the witch here around the cauldron. Today's video, I wanna walk you through a very short and simple way to consecrate a new object. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about cleansing and consecrating if you don't know what they are or why you may want to do them yourself. But first, uh, let's go ahead and give a shout out to my members. Thank you so much to all of my Cauldron collectors for joining me and helping to support the work that I do here. Everybody that joins me as a Cauldron collector really does help me keep making videos and running my website and podcast and things like that. So if you'd like to join me, uh, you can find more information about that in the description below or at roundthecauldron.com. So recently I came across some new to me objects that I've been considering consecrating. I received a witch's ball for Christmas from my mom. I got a crystal bell um, that I found at an estate sale. There was one other thing. What was it? Oh, my new altar besom that I won in a giveaway on Instagram. And I was considering consecrating the um, altar besom and the crystal bell. I'm not sure about the witch's ball that currently sits on my desk. But I have never been one to consecrate an item before. I'm very practical with everything that I do or most everything that I do. Um, I do have some rituals, but I don't tend to be very ceremonial. However, I did feel like it would be a nice thing for me to do and a helpful thing for me to do to at least consecrate the altar besom and the crystal bell because I do have very specific uses in mind for these two objects. I'm going to talk really quick about cleansing and then consecrating and then I'll walk you through this very simple ritual that I did for consecrating my altar besom and my crystal bell. Um, so I'm not going to rehash cleansing. If you've been here for a while or you've been practicing witchcraft for a while, you know how to cleanse. If you don't know how to cleanse, I have several videos, I think, on cleansing, how to cleanse, different methods of cleansing and what cleansing is. But really quick for those that don't want to click off and go to something else, to cleanse an object means to get rid of any um, negative attachments, um, negative energy, not attachments. Negative energy or um, unwanted energy or just kind of lingering spiritual gunk on an object that might be new to you. So I'm going to cleanse these two particular objects because they have passed through many, many, many hands before they got to me. And I think it's personally very important to cleanse an object before you consecrate it and make it sacred. So I'm going to cleanse the altar besom because it's going to be for use in my sacred spaces. And I'm going to cleanse the crystal bell because I got it at an estate sale and I don't know how many people touched it before it got to me and I don't know how the person that had it before me used it. So it's very important to me that those two things get cleansed. Now as far as consecration, um, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Before this, I never consecrated an object. It just wasn't something that I really felt like I needed to do before now. But since I have these two objects that I have very specific uses in mind for them, I feel like it's important to consecrate them and ritually give them their purpose. So for me, consecration is the very act of making an object sacred and giving it a very specific purpose and potentially giving it a name or getting its name from the object if it has one already. And consecration is not going to be something that everybody chooses to do. That's totally fine. Like I said, this is something I've never really done until now. And it can be as simple or as elaborate as you want. I know there are some specific traditions of witchcraft or Wicca that have their very own rituals and guidelines for consecrating objects. I personally don't because I am an eclectic witch and I don't follow a specific tradition. So I really just went with my gut in this ritual and did what I thought was necessary and beneficial for my own practice. And as I said before, consecrating an object is the act of making it sacred. Cleansing something and consecrating something are two completely different things. 
And uh, I have found in my time being online that a lot of newer people to witchcraft or Wicca tend to confuse the two or think that they're the same. And they're definitely not the same. You can cleanse an object without consecrating it. Um, but I don't think you should consecrate an object without cleansing it first. But again, that's just me. I can't tell anybody how to do what they do. So without further rambling on my part, I'm going to go ahead and show you this very simple consecration ritual that I did for these objects. For this consecration ritual, you'll need your tools, a cleansing method of your choice, and holy water of your choice. Now this holy water can be moon water, it can be salt water, it can be Florida water, whatever sort of water is considered sacred in your practice. If you don't have one, then plain water that you bless with your hands works just fine. You begin by cleansing your space, yourself, and your tools. Once everything is cleansed, create sacred space in your preferred method if you choose to do so. I don't tend to cast circles, so I will just sit in stillness and project energy outward and create a sort of sacred space around me. Hold your tool in your hands, dominant hand on top if you're able, and close your eyes. Connect with the energy of the tool that you hold. Feel the tool, the weight of this element of your craft in your hands. Meditate with a tool for a few moments as you build that connection. This is a good time to visualize working with the tool. What is it for? How will you use it? Is there a spirit connected to the tool or are you imbuing it with the energy it will need? Does it have or want a name? When you're ready, open your eyes and place your tool in front of you. Dip the fingers of your dominant hand in the holy water and trace a pentacle over the tool. As you do so, you may want to say an incantation proclaiming the tool's sacredness. This can be as simple or as elaborate as you want. For me, I simply chose to acknowledge the tool, how we will work together, and a name if it was given to me. Once the tool has been claimed as sacred, it's time to close your sacred space and place your consecrated tool in its new home. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough that I gave of how to consecrate an object using my own particular con uh, consecration ritual that I did. Thank you again to all of my members that have joined me as Cauldron Collectors. If you'd like to check that out, link is in the description below or go to roundthecauldron.com. And yeah, I will talk to you next time. Bye.